Hello booktube, my name is Adrian, and welcome back to my channel. So today I am sitting on the floor in front of my bookcases and that is because I am have a video to film for you and that is an unhaul. And the reason I'm on the floor in front of bookcases is because all the books that I plan to unhaul are on the very bottom shelf of my bookcase and it's where those books always are. So a little bit of backstory here is that every year my family goes on a Christmas trip to St. Louis which is about a three hour drive from us. Every year we go to St. Louis for Christmas and while we're there we go to half price books and every year i have decided that over the course of the year if there's a book i just hated and i don't want to keep or if there's books i'm no longer interested in or various other reasons if i decide i don't want a book anymore it goes onto the bottom shelf of my bookcases and when we go on that christmas trip to half and we go to half price books i sell them back to half price books and then use the money that i get for those books to purchase a book that i've already read that year and loved that i don't already own this is a system I've been doing for the last two years and I really like it. And so because I now have a YouTube channel, I decided I was going to show you the books that I've been getting rid of. Um, the main two reasons that I get rid of a book is either I read it and I didn't like it and I have no intention of ever reading it again and I just don't want the book on my shelf anymore or I have no intention of reading it at all and I've lost interest in that book. Now that doesn't mean that, you know, if you like these books that you know they're bad books it just means i'm not interested in having it on my shelf because of that i'm not going to give you a synopsis for the book and i am not going to try i'm going to try really hard not to go into depth as to why i'm getting rid of it um but i will give you like a short little reason maybe why um but my daughter is sitting off camera here wide awake and being very good right now so i'm going to try and get through this video real quick before she gets upset so <laughs> Uh, let's just go ahead and get into all of the books that I plan to get rid of. First up, I have The Rhythmatist by Brandon Sanderson. I just didn't care for this book, so I'm getting rid of it. Next, I have Days of Blood and Starlight by Lady Taylor. I know I might get like hunted down with pitchforks for this one, but I read the first one and I didn't care for it, so I have no intention of continuing on the series at the moment. Um, not to say that I might not change my mind at some point, but I decided I don't want the physical copies and so I am getting rid of this book which is the only one I owned anyway. Next I have The Miraculous Pigness of Pigs by Joel Salatin. Uh, this was a gift from my father-in-law. I have no interest in this book. I don't know why he gave me this book. He knows I have no interest in this book. But he gave it to me anyway. So I'm gonna sell it and get a book I actually want. Up next, I have Confessions of a Murder Suspect by James Patterson and Maxine Patrio. I read this book as well as almost all of the other books in the series. I haven't read the last one yet. And I love them, but I don't want to keep this edition because it is a hardcover and none of the other books in the series match this edition. So if I decide to repurchase the editions, I'm going to get them in paperback where they will all match. So this one's going. Up next, I have Maximum Ride, Saving the World and Other Extreme Sports, which is book three in the Maximum Ride series by James Patterson. Uh, I'm getting rid of this one. This is an old library copy that my husband bought for like 25 cents from the library. Um, but I'm getting rid of this one because I don't plan to keep any of the Maximum Ride books. And all of the editions of them I have, which you will see across this, I'm getting rid of the entire series that I own. You will see them. Uh, the main reason I'm getting rid of them is one, I have no interest in rereading them. And two, none of the editions I have match. They're all different shapes, sizes, covers. It's ridiculous. So I can't do it. I'm a little bit picky about that. So the Maximum Ride series is going. This is the first one that you're seeing. Up next, I have Hashtag Scandal by Sarah Opler. If you saw my, I believe, T-Bear Takedown vlog, uh, you'll know I hated this book. I just could not stand it. I think I gave it two stars. I just didn't like it. Um, I'm not saying that it was necessarily, you know, horrible book. It just was not for me. I just didn't care for it. I didn't like this, didn't care for the writing. So I have no intention of keeping it. So I'm getting rid of this one. Up next, I have The Gift by James Patterson and Ned Russett. This is the second book in the Witch and Wizard series. I have no intention of reading this series. I'm getting rid of the books. I believe the first one will show up in this video at some point too. Up next, I have Angel and Nevermore, which are in the Maximum Ride series. I already explained why I'm getting rid of these. Next, I'm getting rid of Indus for News by Sue Gafton. I got this as from a book vending machine, and I this is like book 26, not 26, this is book like 16 in a series. Not gonna read the series, so I'm gonna get rid of this. 
Up next, I have The Demon King by Cinda Williams Chima. No interest in reading this. Up next, I have I Was Here by Gail Foreman and Beautiful, Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. I didn't care for either of these books, so I'm going to get rid of them. Next, I have The Best of Me by Nicholas Sparks. I actually really like Nicholas Sparks in this book, but I just don't want to keep, um, I'm just not interested in keeping my collection of his novels anymore, so I am just decided I was going to get rid of them. Up next, I have William Shakespeare's Star Wars The Empire Striketh Back by Ian Dosher. This is the fifth, based on the fifth Star Wars. This is really cute and really funny and a very much a quirky novelty book. And I love Shakespeare, not the biggest fan of Star Wars. So I decided I was just going to go ahead and get rid of this because I've already read it and it was cute but again I'm not the biggest fan of Star Wars so I really don't see the need to keep this. Next I have The World of the Hunger Games, just don't need it anymore. Up next I have For Women Only, I read this, I figured I would go ahead and sell it and pass it on because uh, I mean, I already read it once, I really don't feel the need to read it again. Up next I have When Heaven Weeps by Ted Decker. I love Ted Decker, I love all of the books I've read by him, but I for some reason have no interest in reading this one, so I decided I was just going to go ahead and get rid of it. Up next I have Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers. I've read this, I didn't care for it, so I'm getting rid of it. And then The Warrior Heir by Cinder Williams Chima. I haven't read this, thought I was going to like it decided I just wasn't interested in reading it. Next I have Witch and Wizard by James Patterson. You saw the first and second book in this series. They don't match first of all and I'm not interested in reading this. And then I have Please Ignore Vera Dietz by A.S. King. A.S. King is just not an author for me. I've tried to read several other books and can't get into them and so I just said I'm getting rid of this one too. Up next I have Starfire by Stuart Von Stockton. I've had this book for probably 13 years and probably not quite that long, probably like 10 years. And I have no interest in reading this book at all, so I'm getting rid of it. Then I have November 9 by Colleen Hoover. Tried to read this book a couple times. Colleen Hoover is just not for me. Then I have The Lucky One, Safe Haven, and True Believer all by Nicholas Sparks. Like I said, I'm just getting rid of my Nicholas Sparks collection because I have no interest in keeping these, even though they are very pretty. I have read The Lucky One and enjoyed it. Safe Haven is probably my favorite Nicholas Sparks book. And I haven't read True Believer, but I'm not interested in it anymore. Next, I have The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simmons. Not interested in reading this. I picked it up a long time ago thinking maybe I would be interested in it, and I'm just not. So I'm going to get rid of it. And then I have Kiss Me Again by Rachel Vale. This is the second book in a series, and I did not know that when I picked it up. And I have been looking for the first book. And in the search for the first book, I just realized I'm not interested in reading these books, so I'm just going to get rid of this one. Up next, I have Sands of Time and In Sheep's Clothing by Susan May Warner. I've had these books for 10 years as well, and I have no interest in them. They're thrillers, and I just, I'm just i not into thrillers, so I decided I was going to get rid of these ones. Next, I have Fairest by Gail Carson Levine. I'm just not interested in this book. Next, I have Fang, The Angel Experiment and Final Warning, all by James Patterson, all books in the Maximum Ride series. Like I said, I have so many different kinds of these books and I'm just not interested in reading them again and uh, I can't hack them all being different on my shelves anyway. Up next I have How I Changed My Life by Todd Strazer. I read this book a really long time ago and really liked it at the time, but I don't remember why I liked it now, so I decided I was going to get rid of it. Then I have Wiser Than Serpents by Susan May Warner. This is again a book I've had for 10 years. I got it at the same time I got the other two by her. The book is also a thriller, also just not interested in it. And then the final book I'm unhauling is The Guardian by Nicholas Sparks. Like I said, just getting rid of my entire collection by him. Never read this one, not really interested in it. So you, there you have it. Those are all of the books that I am planning to unhaul this weekend. So now all of these books are going to be packed up and ready to take to on our trip with me. And I will. you'll have to wait and see what I get in with the money that I get from these in my book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.